so I need a little hammer for a grandson. I found this in a ditch a long time ago. You can see it spent some time rusting. The rust is deep. This broke off another hammer around here, maybe a top tool, I don't really remember, but I save handles sometimes just for moments like this. If I clean this up and I make a new handle out of this, this is going to go back to essentially a new condition in terms of usefulness, in terms of the work that you put out with it. I'm not gonna make it look new. I'm gonna make it look serviceable. This is a very practical and easy restoration project. I don't know if Leo is gonna still own this in a year or two years. It'll probably be found in a ditch again someday. I mean, when a kid has a tool, it's hard for them to hang on to it. But it's a labor of love to take something that was useful, that now is junk, and make it useful again with the intention that it be used. So there's something pretty compelling about restoring, putting back together an old wood-handled hand tool. Because you're working with a piece of steel, you're working with a piece of wood, you can stop at the point that it becomes functional, or you can keep at it and make it furniture grade. You can make it, this could be put together and finished to the same degree of finish as a Smith & Wesson revolver. Now, I'm not gonna do that, but that's one of the things that's compelling. Two different mediums, an assortment of different tools, you can stain it, you can sand it, you can lacquer it, you can, as soon as you get the handle on there, you can go to work with it. So it, there's just a wide sort of range of processes and tactile rewards and ways to use it to create something that could become an heirloom. Think of that. I'm turning two pieces of junk, maybe, into something that my posterity will remember me with.
Gracias.